Classes are canceled at this Albion Elementary School tomorrow after a car slammed into the side of the building, injuring five students. Check out this picture from inside the fourth grade classroom, courtesy of the Orleans Hub. That's right. So what put the driver on this dangerous collision course today? Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson digs deeper, speaking to parents who are grateful the outcome wasn't far worse. It could be your kid. I mean, they could be in a wheelchair right now. Right. Everybody went home. It wouldn't have ended that great if God wasn't down here looking around. Parents breathing a sigh of relief knowing everyone is okay after a car lost control and plowed into a wall at the Ronald L. Sedoma Elementary School in Albion. On the other side of that brick wall, a classroom full of fourth graders just 20 minutes from dismissal. We looked out and we saw a vehicle had run into the building. School Superintendent Mike Bonwell says he was only feet away when he heard the crash. He says by the time he made it to the scene, teachers were helping students evacuate the classroom where an SUV was almost two feet inside. Moved all of our kids out of the wing just to make sure they were safe. The superintendent says debris went flying. Five students complained of injuries and two were taken to a local hospital to be checked out. As for the driver, it's believed a medical emergency caused him to lose control. At this point, what we believe, based on what he's told us from his past um, and, and based on the investigation of uh, how everything transpired here, that's what it appears to be at this point. Maintenance workers have since boarded up the damage and Ronald L. Sedoma Elementary is closed tomorrow so building inspectors and architects can work to repair the damage. The superintendent says he's glad the students are safe, but parents are still a little shaken up by the surprise ending to their students' day. This school will be closed tomorrow, but students impacted by the crash will return tomorrow to meet with teachers, counselors, and to see that their fellow students are in fact okay. Reporting from Albion, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.